It's a trap! Back in the 90s, during the raging days of the arcade fighters, fighting games had peaked during the arcade era. You got your Street Fighters, your King of Fighters, your Virtual Fighters, that's a lot of fighters. And of course, my personal favorite, Tekken. Now, it's no big surprise that with each new video game that keeps hitting the mainstream, there's always a movie to either try to make more money from the franchise or to try to tie it in with a story that provides more of the narrative. Now, the animated films that are based off of video games I've seen have been pretty good so far and have proven to add more info to the games themselves, while most live action based movies, well. The fuck? <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, really fuck. But in the case of what we are talking about today, this film falls in the middle of a pretty good to the what the hell did I just watch? And that is the animated motion picture Tekken. Now, if you have never played the Tekken series or even know what the heck the games are about, this may be something that you'll sit and enjoy without asking too many questions. But since I've been playing the series since I was 10, also, keep in mind, no matter what I say and no matter what I pretty much talk about or no matter what I joke about, all of this is just my opinion, which means don't take this a whole thing to heart. I love this movie and I enjoyed this movie and I watch it whenever I get the chance. Please do not take what I say seriously when I pretty much um, say something that's probably going to upset you or tick you off, okay? It was a joke. It's no opinions. Okay, cool. Cool. So Tekken is the story of Kazuya Mishima, a young man with the Vegeta hair syndrome that had a not so great childhood as well. Kazuya's father, Hihachi Mishima, owns a multinational conglomerate called the Mishima Corporation. And in order to see if his 10 year old son can run the company for whatever reason, he did what every other loving father would do for their only child. He throws him off a cliff. If Kazuya managed to survive the fall and climb back up the cliff, he would prove himself a worthy man, despite the fact that he's 10 years old. Isn't that like making sure your kid knows how to drive when you throw him into oncoming traffic? Kazuya not only survived the fall, but was critically injured and close to death until he was saved by selling his soul to the devil and to survive and grow stronger. 20 years later, Kazuya harbored so much hatred for his father that he enters his father's tournament in order to get his revenge. There's also Jun Kazuma and Lei Wulong, who are also working together to bring down Heihachi while dealing with other fighters in the tournament. There's also Lee, a Kazuya's adopted brother who hired assassins Nina and Adam Williams to kill Kazuya so that he can take over the corporation instead of his brother. And then there's the robot Jack, who wants to save the life of a little girl. Now, if there's one thing I can say about the movie that I enjoy more than anything else, it's the soundtrack. The soundtrack to this film is actually badass. It really gives you that 90s edge with the awesome tracks that they use for it, like Bone Crusher from Soul Hat and Save Yourself by Stabbing Westward. Songs like these really made the action scenes pretty awesome to watch and it makes you want to pretty much re-watch them over and over again just so you can hear those badass tracks. But, uh, remember when I said that I played the games and it made me question the film? Number one, Kazuya was never possessed by the devil in the first place, but he inherited a rare gene that was called the devil gene that was passed down from his mother's side. Number two, Heihachi's only goal is to gain more power and to use his company to attain that kind of power. He was never an eco-terrorist and he never wanted to pull a Thanos by saying, oh the world is corrupt so we have to pretty much wipe it away and make a brand new world out of it. Nin, 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 nin. That's bullshit. Number three, Jun Kazama entered the tournament to take down Kazuya after he defeated his father and took over the corporation in Tekken 2. She didn't try to go after Heihachi. And number four, Nina was actually hired to eliminate Heihachi in the first Tekken game and not Kazuya. Now, I will give the film a bit of slack only because of the fact that when the games were released back then, there wasn't a lot of context that was pretty much revealed about the games themselves. Honestly, the only way that you could find out about Tekken was if you read the comic book that was based off of, or in this case, read the instructional manual that came out at the time, to which 
who the hell was actually reading these instructional manuals. This movie also suffered the same problem as most fighting game based movies, not knowing what to do with the extra characters from the game and just shoving them in the background or just having them show up for a 30 second cameo. Oh sure, you have that one character like Michelle Chain that wants to get revenge on Heihachi for the death of her father, but then she winds up getting the shit knocked out of her in the next couple minutes with ease by Kazuya's high kicks. And remember the sumo ga Gonryu? Yeah, this is him getting his ass kicked by Michelle earlier before the fight with Kazuya. What irritates me most about this film is that even though that is based off of a fighting game, um, can somebody please explain to me why this ha barely has any fighting in it? There is a bit of fighting, but not to a lot to keep me on the edge of my seat. When it's a 1v1 between the characters that I know from the games, the fights usually last from like 5 to 30 seconds with only the raptor fight and the final fight between Kazuya and Heihachi lasting for probably about a minute. Kind of disappointing, but at least this scene will make up for it. Wait, father. Not yet. The fight's not finished yet. It's not over. I'll take... Ah! <laughs> Worthless. Yeah, that's still funny. Another issue I have with the film is that it takes the concepts of both the Tekken games 1 and 2 that were released at the same time that the film came out and for whatever reason it tries to merge them together. Now in some cases in movies this can be a good thing to either urge the plot along and with providing information but at other times, especially if you know the source material by heart, this is confusing as all hell. Like I said, it's not too much of a big deal and I'm just nitpicking at this point, but I mean, this whole thing kind of baffles me a bit more than Batman and Batgirl screwing around on a rooftop in The Killing Joke. Instead of making it a movie about Kazuya just trying to enact his revenge and, and then it's spiraling into a confusing ass movie with bland characters that didn't even leave room for any character development in the slightest. The only character I found interesting throughout the entire movie was Kazuya himself. Despite having a one track personality and his interaction with June does seem to hint that they're supposed to be like a thing or at least she's supposed to be the love interest but doesn't really show it and the dialogue can be summed up like this. I'm going to kill my father. Please, no, it's not worth it. Girl, I've been waiting for this vengeance for 20 years. Ain't nothing can stop. Maybe I can settle things another way. Keep talking. Okay, maybe not like that, but I mean, hey, it, it, could, it sounds about as close to that. The animated Tekken movie is the okay 90s flick to watch if you're bored with nothing to do. I mean, you can literally find the movie on YouTube if you ever get bored. And although I expected more from an animated flick based off of one of the best fighting games ever made, it's kind of a letdown. If you want to check out the Tekken movie, be my guest and let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Anyway, I'm Crazy Kid and I'm out. This has been my review, I guess? Whatever. Anyway, I'm Crazy Kid. I'm out. Peace. Peace.